okay so let's just add the other opponent cards as well as you know we will have five different opponents in our game so let's go ahead and add another one for example this fury weekly right there and let's uh, actually change its color from black to something else so right here in materials here is the fury car so fury mirrors fury pipes fury wheels window glass select this fury car and right here let's change its color to for example a little bit dark and red like this as you can see it looks a little good on it so change it to this one that's it let's simply click on prefab and back completely that's it and let's add this inside the opponent car let's name this as opponent car 2 and in here create an empty game object by the name of body and then another one by the name of wheels select the body and in the body let's add all of these three and then in the wheels let's add all of the four wheels and then on the opponent car we need to add the scripts so here is the first one then there is the second one let's set the speed of it to 8 this will be the fastest car and let's create a walk point origin for this so right here we will duplicate that and let me actually now delete all of these walk points okay we just need this walk point origin let's name this as walk point origin 2 move it up there and let's create walk points now let's try and drop that in there okay walk point origin and actually let's create our first walk point this is it and actually let's move it there this will be the first walk point for this car right there okay move it there now let's select uh, actually create another one okay there is the next one then let's create another one over there and actually let's don't create that much of walk points okay on the straight line let me move up right here okay now let's select and create another one We'll move right there, then let's create another one. And then we'll move it here. And let's create another one. Move it a little bit there. And let's create another one. Move it there. Okay, this will go to the third one. Let's move this one that line and then it will go right there okay we kind of messed up the walk point but okay let's just continue let's move this one right there Actually, right there, and then let's create another one. Move it there. Let's create another one. Move it there. Create another one. Move it there. Let's now go to there. Simply create another walk point. Move it 
right here and from here let me actually move the 14 ones a little bit right here then select the 15 one and move it there okay and let's move this one there and it there okay let's move it right here actually move it here then create another one move it a little bit to this side and then move it there okay and then from here it will move in the straight line to there um, let's move it there there actually create another one move it there let's create another one now And move it there. Now let's select the first warp point. Actually, let me move this one right over there. Let's select the first one, move it right here. Okay, actually align it with this one. Let me move that there. Now let's move it here accordingly. Let's move this one here. Now again click on waypoint 0 go in inspector let's add this waypoint 24 there and then select the waypoint 24 and add this right there and then let's just select all of the waypoints and make its width as 0 now let's remove that let's check it out Okay, we didn't add the waypoint to our vehicle. Let's add your point car right here. We need to add the script and then we need to add the waypoint right there. That's it. Let's play it again. Okay, now they are moving at different speeds and different points okay let's change the speed of the vehicles for example let's make the speed of this one as 12 this one as 13 and this one as 14 that's it now if we play it as you can see now they are moving fast whoops okay there they are they are turning okay they are now madly racing each other and our car is doing the drifts let's follow them around as you can see they are following the waypoint which we assigned them so it means that the vehicles are moving in their own waypoints guys i told you how you can add different vehicles okay now let's add the other two vehicles as well for example this thunder and then this one okay and let's change both of the materials let's use the thunder materials so here is thunder base, thunder body right there. Let's change its color to something like dark blue. Or actually, let's change it to yellow. Okay, you can use your own colors if you want. And then let's change the zigato color. Or actually, let's just leave it as it is. Let's click on prefab and back completely on both of them and then drag and drop them inside the opponent cars 
let's name this as opponent 3 or opponent car 3 and then this one is opponent car 4 let's open this one get an empty game object by the name of body and then another one by the name of wheels okay now let's do the same in there as well create a wheels empty game object and then a body game object in the body add all of this and in the wheels add that okay then the same for this one let's add the wheels and then the body that's it let's add the scripts to these two cards in the scripts select first of all both of them and then attach both of the scripts and these two cards will be the slowest so let's make the speed of this one as 9 okay and this one as it or actually make this nine as well and okay this one with eight and then we need to add the script right here and for this one as well and now we want to move this car in this middle waypoint so this middle one is this one so let's open up it up select the car add that there okay and then let's select this car and we want to move this vehicle in this waypoint okay so that one is the last one so add that there that's it now let's play it and you will notice now that they are now racing with each other but we don't want the collision between the vehicles so for that we need to add a box collider so first of all let's open all of these cards okay and then in the cards open up the body and in the body we have this body collider object select all of that okay and from here let's remove this mesh collider okay so after removing the mesh colliders now let's select the cars okay let's select this one for example and let's add a box collider to it okay right here let's edit the box collider let me turn off the gizmos for now okay we need to edit the box collider for this car that will be enough let's do for the height as well that's it Let's move it a little bit there and then to the sides let's do this and to this side as well okay so the box colliders are added to this one let's add it to that vehicle as well and box collider edit it and let's first of all set the width so the height and then the width okay and then let's do the front as well that's it it fits the whole vehicle and guys also you will be needing to add the rigid body on the opponent cars on which you add the box colliders okay so add the rigid body as well and let's make the mass as 100 and tick on this use gravity okay and then there is the box collider for these two cars and now if you play the game you will notice that now they will both collide with each other as you can see they now collide with each other so in this way you can add box collider 
to the other cars as well first of all we will need to be adding the rigid body make the mass as 100 and then let's add the box collider let me actually just copy this and let's try this on on the other one so paste component as new let's set it then as you can see it fits this one this one is also fitted now and let's move this one there a little bit that's it so now if you play the game you will notice that these cars will now collide with each other and with the environment as well let's go ahead and collide as you can see we can hit the cars as well okay that's it you can change the mass of the cars if you want okay from here i will make it 500 to make them to give them a little bit of a weight okay as you can see they are they will have more weight now as you can see so guys in this way you can add different vehicles okay different opponent cars and you can add box colliders to them and now let's end this video right here